Hello everybody and thank you so much for joining me for today's video. In this one I'm talking all about summer sewing patterns. I've got a big long list of some of my absolute favourite patterns for this time of year and some that I've been eyeing up or bought recently as well. I've got a big mix, I've got the big four, I've got indie and I've got free patterns as well so something for every budget. I've tried to go as size inclusive as I possibly can. There are a few that aren't massively inclusive unfortunately but all the size ranges will be put with the links to the pattern in the description box below so you can shop them all quite easily. But yeah, I've got swimwear, I've got dresses, lots of dresses actually, I might add. I've got skirts, I've got tops, everything you need for a handmade summer wardrobe. So let's get into it and start off with dresses, seeing as that is definitely going to be the longest part of this video. Dresses are my absolute favourite to sew, but also to wear. I feel like... They're so easy to throw on and you look like you've made an effort when you actually haven't. And it's an outfit, you don't really need to think about it. So yeah, I love a dress, as you will see. I'm going to start off with one of my absolute favourite bodices of all time. I could not rave about this enough. It's the By Hand London Kitten. I have seen this hacked in so many different ways over Instagram with long floaty skirts, gathered skirts, circle skirts, you name it and it looks amazing. So I bought this pattern, I thought I've got to give it a go, and wow, did I not regret it? The fit is spot on. The neckline is adorable, it's got a sweetheart variation or a square neckline, but it's really perfect and so easy to hack. I've made one with sleeves, I've made one with ruffles, I've made one as a top with loads of like back detail. So this is your sign to buy the By Hand London Kim. The next pattern is definitely going to be a love or hate, but I made it a couple of months ago for a party and I absolutely fell in love with it. It's the Lydia Naomi Dream Frock. I think it was called the Milkmaid dress before because it's definitely got Milkmaid vibes. Oh, it is adorable. It really is. The little gathered bust detail, the way it cinches you in at the waist. It's got a little tie as well at the front and then puff sleeves. I did an elastic channel panel. That's a mouthful. Um, on the back of this dress to make it really, really comfortable and fit me sort of throughout the month. But please excuse my awful drawing. Um, so I'm planning on doing another version with little tie straps and maybe some buttons down the front and a little ruffle around the bottom of the skirt as well. And I cannot wait because I really enjoyed making this one. It's got video instructions, which I don't typically enjoy following. Don't let it put you off the pattern though, because it is so, so adorable. Okay, so this pattern, is the McCall's M7947. Now it doesn't look like much on the packet, does it? It looks like a nighty, that's for sure. However, I saw this on someone else on Instagram and she was pregnant at the time and I was pregnant at the time. So I was really inspired to make it as a bit of a maternity dress. And after making it once, I fell in love with it. It's got real daily sleeper vibes. It's so comfortable to wear. I love the little puff sleeve options, but it's really nice without as well. I've hacked this in loads of different ways to have a sheared waist. You could shear the whole bodice as well. Um, you could do elastic channels through it. You can really change this one up and make loads of different versions of it, but it's just a really easy breezy summer dress. Next up, I'm back to By Hand London, but this one is a free tutorial on their Instagram highlights, I believe. It is the sheared puff sleeve dress that has been all the rage for the last few summers. They've been everywhere. They're really gorgeous, so easy and comfortable to wear. They're very easy to make as well. Shearing is not that scary, trust me. I do it all the time. Once you've got the knack of it, it's great. I would recommend if you're gonna have a go at doing this, do it in a viscose or a really lightweight cotton Heavier cottons don't shear that well. I've learned the hard way. <laughs> but yeah, it's such a great tutorial, really easy to follow. I would say if you are bustier, you might want to adjust the front piece to be slightly higher and to have armholes and then bind it if you're not having sleeves because I've done it the traditional way with just the rectangles and I've ended up with the front of the bodice being really short and the back of the bodice being really long and it looks a bit odd. So if you are busty, that is my favourite way to hack this pattern to make it fit. Next up, we've got the Sophia Sweetheart Neck. Neck? 
dress, sorry. Next up, we've got the Sophia Sweetheart Dress by Stay Stitch Patterns. It's a knit pattern, it's quite fitted, so if you're into that sort of thing, then this is perfect for you. Very easy to sew, very quick to sew. I love their instructions on their patterns. You know, I would highly recommend any of their patterns if you're just starting out sewing. I've made a few top versions that I absolutely love with the long sleeves. However, I'm gonna make some tank style ones for the summer and I would like to make one of their dresses as well, but a midi style because I've seen a few and they're absolutely gorgeous. The next few dresses are ones that I haven't made, but I've definitely been eyeing up or I'm planning on making. So the first one is the new McCall's pattern. It's the McCall's, sorry, I had to write this down because I'm awful at remembering the numbers. The M8252. It's a cut out kind of ring detail puff sleeve dress. When I saw them bring this out in a pattern, I was so, so excited because I've had a dress very, very similar saved on my Pinterest for the longest time and I was going to attempt to draft it, but I literally had no idea where to start. Yeah, it's got so many gorgeous variations. It's got one with puff sleeves, one with no sleeves, one with little kind of angel sleeves. They really need to hurry up and bring this to the UK like now because I cannot wait to make it and I've got fabric waiting and I'm very impatient. <laughs> So next up we've got the Vicky Sews Lorraine. I recently bought this pattern and I'm really, really excited to sew it. It's got gorgeous tie straps. It's got really beautiful gathered bust detail as well. Fitted waist and then a really long swishy circle skirt. And I've seen loads of dresses just like this all over Instagram the last couple of years. So I'm very excited to make this one. I also think you could very easily hack this to have sleeves as well. I saw a couple of dresses on Reformation that had exactly the same bodice, but they had little puff sleeves and they were absolutely adorable. So I'm definitely gonna have a go at hacking this one to have sleeves. If you're on Instagram, you will have definitely, definitely seen this next pattern. It's been so, so popular and for very good reason. It's the Sicily slip dress. It's a cowl neck bias cut midi dress. It's absolutely stunning. It would make the perfect wedding guest dress make it in a floral viscose and it's great for sort of day-to-day -day summer wear. Working on the bias is tricky, I'm not gonna lie. However, the instructions on this pattern are really good. So if you've never done it before, this would be a good place to start. But if you are brave enough to have a go at working on the bias, I definitely recommend this dress because I've seen it on so many different body types and it always looks amazing because bias cut garments, they hug you in all the right places and you can still eat when you're wearing them. Okay, last dress, I promise we're nearly there with the dresses, but this is a free one, so it's a good one. It's a free pattern by Mood Fabrics, it's called the Clementine Dress. Now, before I go into this, I need to pre-warn you, I've read a lot of bad things about the instructions for this, so if you are a complete beginner, or you're not overly confident with sewing and figuring things out yourself, I would maybe avoid this one until they fix it. However, it is gorgeous, it's really chic, it's one shoulder with a cutout detail, elastic around the neckline and around the waist, so it looks super, super comfy. I'm definitely gonna have a go at making this one, so actually I might do it as a video and then I can figure out the instructions for everybody else. So let me know if you're interested in seeing that. I've seen loads of beautiful dresses, very similar in style, on Netta Porter, Farfetch. One was in a broderie anglaise, which was gorgeous. And then there was another one with a tiered skirt. And then I saw that Mango had one that was very similar in sort of a black linen, again with a tiered maxi skirt. It's such a chic, beautiful summer dress and free. So we can't complain too much about the instructions, right? I'm sorry, I totally lied. There's one more dress. Um, this is a new addition to my pattern collection. This is the Vogue V1735. However, I think it's got a different number now, so I'll pop that in the link below. Um, but this is gorgeous. I've only sewn the bodice of this and I'm already in love with it. It's got a really deep V. It's sort of like a kimono style with the sleeves. I understand now why it's so, so popular. Obviously it is very low cut, so if you've got big boobs, you could stitch it up a little bit or add a tie, or you know what, if you've got it, flaunt it. But yeah, I love this pattern. I would highly recommend this if you love this style. Okay, so now we've finally finished the dress list, let's move on to tops. And first up, I'm gonna talk about the Tudor blouse by Stitch Witch Patterns, because I have made this pattern more times than I can count. I love it. It is so nice. It's a really simple square neck, puff sleeve crop top 
but you can hack it so easily. There's a wrap version that she supplies for you. You can also shear it quite easily. You can have elastic channels in it. You can change the sleeve very easily. You can also use the sleeve on lots of other things as well. I tend to use that particular sleeve when I'm sewing sheared dresses because I like the way it kind of fits under the arms. I love this pattern. I couldn't rave about it enough. It's the Top 19 by You Made My Day Patterns and it has got the most adorable ruffle straps with a crossover back. If you like a backless top, this pattern is for you because it is gorgeous. If you can't go braless, I would definitely recommend still getting this but adjusting the panels at the back. I've done that so I could actually still wear a bra with it as well. Um, also, I've done it so I sheared the panel at the front and then I um, lined it with a jersey and sewed bra cups into it and that meant it was a bit tighter, a bit more fitted, a bit more supportive and I could get away with not wearing a bra. But yeah, I love the crossback detail. I definitely want to make a dress version of this. I saw one from H&M that was very, very similar and I loved it, it's so adorable, isn't it? And I thought that would make the perfect little summer dress. So there's another one that I need to add to my project list as if it wasn't long enough. We've got a couple of free patterns next. The first one is the Blommer Tank by Paradise Patterns. You get this as a free download when you sign up to their newsletter and it's a really great simple tank top um, because it sits a little bit wider than regular tanks. You can still wear a bra with it. It's super comfy and it is so, so quick to sew as well. It uses very very little fabric so great scrap buster if you're like me and you've got piles of scraps around. So the next free pattern is the Elliot Top by Cool Stitches. Now I have printed this and stuck it together however I haven't got around to making it because I feel like it's definitely going to need a full bust adjustment and to be honest with you I can't be bothered but I will do that at some point and give it a go because it's got so many lovely details it's got little puff sleeves. I love the little ties at the front as well. I've seen so many gorgeous versions. I saw a chiffon version, which was just glorious. And then I saw that someone made it into a dress as well. So it's a really easy hackable pattern in the sense that you can really change it within the fabric that you use. Such an amazing pattern to be free as well. When it comes to summer, a shirt, especially a linen shirt, I would say is an absolute essential. I got one off of Vinted just before our holiday and I have worn it pretty much non-stop. And Marsha Style has just brought out the most gorgeous shirt pattern. It's the Aaliyah shirt dress and it's got lots of different variations. It's got a puffy sleeve version. You can do it as a shirt, as a dress. It's got some really lovely big patch pocket details. It's the perfect slouchy summer shirt dress. But yeah, if you don't have a linen shirt in your wardrobe, this is your sign to sew one because they are just an essential and you'll wear it non-stop. Okay, so another free tutorial from By Hand London. This is one that's on their blog, on their website. It's a ruffle skirt tutorial and it is so, so cute. I've seen some versions online that are really simple and beautiful, that are made in plain linens, in green, in white, and they look lovely. So I'm gonna have a go because I've got a green linen that I think this will look lovely in and I've got a really lovely drapey um, white floral that I think this will be beautiful in as well. This pattern isn't strictly a summer pattern but I had to include it because you can definitely make some beautiful versions for summer. This is upside down, <laughs> sorry. This is the Simplicity 8457. It's an amazing fit pattern and they mean it when they say amazing fit. Um, I've got a lot of junk in the trunk. I really struggle with trouser patterns. I get hungry bum, but I made these and I didn't regret it. They fit, well, clues in the name. They're amazing fit. They were an amazing fit on me. I did the curvy version and they fit to absolute perfection. And I was blown away because I've never had that before. My next version, I'm planning on making them in like a really lightweight viscose linen white fabric maybe not white maybe i'll do a pale pink because i am a mum of three and white might not be the best idea but i just think for summer they're just so chic and dreamy and i love the pleats in the front another pair of trousers but a slightly different vibe because these are secret pajamas pretty much it's the tilly button sapphire trousers they've got an elasticated waist they are so comfy i've made loads of different pairs of these I've made them in a leopard viscose and I wear them all the time because they are so comfy. And then I made a stripy linen version for holiday, which I just absolutely loved. 
they are big, they are loose, they are very shapeless. However, if you're looking for comfort, these are the trousers for you. So last up for clothing is the Cigaro set by Friday Pattern Company. I've recently bought this because I've seen so many gorgeous versions of it I've absolutely fallen in love with. I saw one in a kind of rusty coloured white background floral and she did the trousers full length and it just oh, just screamed holiday and then I've seen some lovely versions in linen as well but it looks lovely on every single body shape I love the, the shape of the crop top with the deep V but you've got an option to have a tie as well if you want to be a bit more covered the top's also reversible I love the big sleeves and then the secret pyjama bottoms as well with the elasticated waist and their culotte style. I just love it. It's so, so cute. I've got a beautiful terracotta coloured viscose jacquard fabric to make this in. I might well hack the sleeves on my version to be a little bit shorter and I might elasticate them as well to give it a slightly different look. I've got a couple of outfits saved on Pinterest with that style of top and it looks really chic. So I might do that. You love the original pattern that is just stunning. I love the shape and it's got a really, really good size range as well. On to the last section. And of course, it couldn't be a summer patterns video without some swimwear thrown in. So I haven't made a lot of swimwear, mainly because it terrifies me. And frankly, I don't enjoy wearing swimwear. Um, I've had years of just avoiding going swimming because I hate wearing a swimming costume. I always end up with a wedgie. I feel uncomfortable. They never fit me around here. But I did make my own swimwear for summer holidays this year. And I wish I'd done it sooner because I felt amazing in these swimwear pieces. They fit me perfectly. And it was really cool to say that I made them myself. Before I go into talking about this pattern too much, let me just warn you, it is tiny, it's so small. So I had to make the extra large. I am not that busty um, and even that was still too small for me. I had to add two inches to the bottom just to avoid my whole boob falling out. I did add a band around the bottom as well and I did insert cups too. I've breastfed three kids. I need all the help I can get when it comes to swimwear. But it is a really good free pattern and if you're smaller on the bust or have got a blessed chest and you're happy to go with something quite small then it's a really good download. So for the bottoms on my bikini I use the Love and Lace Amy bottoms and I couldn't recommend these enough if you're making swimwear for the first time. The instructions were really good but I love the different coverage options so you've either got cheeky, you've kind of got a half coverage or you've got a full Bridget Jones style brief if you want to be fully covered, which is fine. Um, I went for the kind of in, in between because I can't get away with a cheeky bottom these days, unfortunately. But I also went for the high rise version. It's got a mid rise version too. With swimwear at the moment, everything seems to have a really, really high cut on the leg. Now I'm a mum of three. I'm going down water slides. I'm jumping in pools. If I wear anything like that, I'm 100% going to flash. So I really, really liked the rise of these. They weren't too high on the leg but they're just a really nice flattering shape and the instructions were really easy to follow as well so it made sewing swimwear that little bit less intimidating. So the last swimwear pattern is a one piece. This is the Carter One Piece by Edgewater Ave. I really, really love the cutout detail at the front. It's got a cute little tie as well, but it's very, very wearable. I hacked this to try and recreate a designer swimsuit that I absolutely loved that had sort of ruched, um, and pulley channels on the top and the bottom. Um, I'm conscious of my tummy area, so anything that I can put there to kind of cover that, I love. And um, yeah, I had to go at doing that and recreating the swimsuit and it actually worked. I was blown away. The overall shape of the Carter One Piece is really cute. I've seen lots of versions where they've done the top and bottoms in different colors and different prints, which I thought was really funky. But yeah, you could very easily add cups to this one as well. I did a my version for a little bit of extra support, but it was a really easy one to sew. The rise on the bottoms, as I've said before, does come up very, very high. So I did adjust that to come down, but if you're confident enough to wear something like that, then amazing. It's a really lovely shape. Whew, that was a long one, wasn't it? I didn't realize there were quite so many patterns on that list, but hopefully this video has left you feeling inspired and you've got a few things to add to your sewing list as well. I certainly have as if it wasn't long enough. 
If you did enjoy today's video and would like to see more sewing content from me, please do subscribe. I would love to have you back. But for now, thank you again so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!